Are you one of those who wants to join Docker party among developers these days, which is a very famous and common software, but do you feel like missing out lost guy in that party where you smile and agree on almost anything that people say about Docker since we all know that this is amazing and has changed the game of virtualization. In this video, we will learn about what is Docker so that you can survive as a developer in this era. Rather than moving directly into jargon, I want you to imagine in little old times when containers and dockers wasn't even existing. What about big companies like Hotstar, Netflix and Accenture, whose necessity is to keep their server up 24 by 7, else they'll face a business loss. They relied on the technology of servers where they used to allocate more servers day by day as per their need, plus some casualties like crash and burning down of the server was also a part of it. And then they saw a ray of hope in VMware. Instead of buying a new server, you can now do the virtualization and can run multiple OS on the same host. Same server and same isolation will be there in the same infra. Running multiple apps on the same host was a gold mine for these companies, but those gold mines are now replaced by the diamonds of Docker. In today's time, virtualization is expensive. You'll have to allocate RAM, that too with multiple kernels, where operating systems are required to run, which was also giving up performance issues as well. Welcome to today's world, where you have something amazing as Docker. It's extremely lightweight, you can create images and make containers out of these images. It is super portable. These images are really small. Configuration file gives you the control to run anything instantly on any system. The most important USB required in today's market is that it is super fast with the help of configuration management. The secret ingredient how Docker is able to do all of these amazing things better than virtualization is because of the step of hypervisor because that is missing in Docker. First of all, like we all know by some of my previous lectures that we need to decide infrastructure. It could be a high-end server, like it could be bare metal or it could be a laptop or whatever you're using. Then comes the OS as per your choice. Then you have hypervisor, which could be VMware, VBox or any other as per your choice. Then there is a multiple guest with OS, which will allocate multiple kernels resources. Yes, you heard it right, multiple kernel resources. That's where the problem begins. And then we run our app. Let's look at this case with containerization. They of course have infrastructure, OS is also there as well. But like I mentioned, hypervisor is missing here. So things run on Docker daemon. Here the process directly runs on the operating system. It manages to run container on system, which of course means the images and the command line utility you create with the help of Docker. So the application that we want to run after creating Docker images will directly run on host machines. Now these running instances are called container. But now the question is that how Docker is able to do this without hypervisor? So it makes the segment of namespacing and control groups to let them use everything directly on the host machine. Uh, so you are using the same kernel, but Docker is using namespaces to treat all of this as the segment of the system that you have and the control group will definitely allocate the RAM, bandwidth and the resources that you can have. In easy concluded language, containers are small and lightweight. Execution environment that makes shared use of the operating system but otherwise run in isolation from one another. So this was a smart implementation by Docker Incorporation, a company that is taking care of all of it. So this makes us to use the same host, resources are saved and it is fast and portable. So remember how I gave you an example of big companies like Hotstar, Accenture, Walmart, where they have huge amount of data that is now possible to migrate easily with this technology because it has solved the portability issues as well in huge amount. On top of that, you are cooking all the dependencies inside the image to make everyone's life easier around you. Container technique is growing very rapidly after the immense usage of cloud native development techniques that we are witnessing these days. Born out of Google, Kubernetes open source project is quickly emerging in the cloud world as well. Let me know in the comment section if you want to know what is Kubernetes. And yes, how can we forget today's quiz? So does Kubernetes use Docker? Reply in yes or no in comment section and I'll reply you if you are right. 
We are aiming for 60 thumbs up again today, which we were not able to pass yesterday. So don't forget to hit thumbs up and press the bell icon. Share this video in your friends group so that I can be motivated to make more of such informative videos. But that's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow with another informative video on Kubernetes. That's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow.